Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpixels.com and here I show you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials to create amazing results. In this video tutorial I want to show you how you can create uh, photo compositing like that. Um, we have here this really dark forest background and this beautiful model here. I have downloaded these two images from deviantart.com and I provide you the link in the video description for the images. And I've done this by mask masking out the model like that. And how I did that I show you in one of my next tutorials. I've done this with a tool called Topaz Remask 4. It's a really cool program to mask out um, difficult um, situations of uh, yeah the hairs, this cloth here, and yeah, I show this in a, one of my next tutorials how I did that. And then I have here this dark forest layer, and I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer here to let's go with. Uh, multiply because I want to have that uh, background is blending in here on the lower body and gives a little bit of a tint to the image here and for that I'm going to add a um, layer mask here and with a soft brush and an opacity of let's go with about 80 or 90 percent and a black color. I'm going to mask out the face and the upper body here going just over the face here and the upper body with about like I said like 90 percent of opacity and I want the hairs here beautiful red hairs and I'm going to change the color to so that I don't have this glowing effect around the hairs I can zoom in a little bit let's go in the image and I'm going to paint back the background so that the background is still visible here just a little bit here I'm painting always like that. I'm painting from the inwards outwards and then I'm going to adjust <coughs> the painting and then I'm painting back the what is not correct here. Like here. I'm just painting over that. And I'm choosing a bigger brush here and I'm going around the model's hair. want to have the reds, I want, want to have them, but I don't want to have this glowing effect here, so I'm going to paint it a little bit back into the hairs, like that. And then I'm going to paint here a little bit over the body here, but with a lower opacity and so that there's no um, sticks to see here in the no branches to see in the in the cloth here <coughs> load opacity again <coughs> and just lightly over that so that it's not being seen so much here And again, painting back. Smaller brush. And a little bit more opacity. This is a little bit of a work, but uh, this image needs this work, so I do it. Just a little bit over here. And so that we don't have this 
line here in the hand from the tree behind. I'm going to just paint over that here as well. And here it's maybe a little bit too dark. And here it's too transparent. Okay. I think we are nearly done here with the masking. And now I want to uh, that the model colors are fitting into the background. And for this I'm going to select my model layer and I'm going to add a curve adjustment layer. And I'm going with a slightly curve here. And the next layer is a solid color layer. And I can choose here the color by tipping here, but I have done this before and I have written down the numbers. In my case, it's 4F6D7C. Okay. And I change the blend mode to overlay. Now we have matched the colors a little bit of the model, or a little bit, it's uh, really good matching and I can see here it's a little bit too bluish here so I'm going to mask it out a little bit more like that and if you want to see how you where your mask is you can with holding down the alt key and click on the mask you can see your mask and this is what I'm doing here right now I'm going to Set this to 100% and painting over that here because here I want to have 100% of the of the colors. And to, to go back, just hold down the Alt key and click again on the mask. And yeah, now we have this result here. And it's looking pretty good, I think. But I want to give this image a little bit more of an interesting kick and for this I'm going to duplicate these layers merge together by Control alt shift and E and I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light and then I'm going to lower the opacity to about 20% or so now let's go with that and I duplicate this layer here and I change the that mode to lighter color and with an opacity of 100% so that I have a little bit yeah, it's it helps me to get rid of some glowings around the model here and yeah, to lighten it a little bit up then I'm going to copy again this or duplicate this layers again merge together like that and now I'm going to use the high pass filter For this I'm changing the blend mode to soft light and filter other high pass filter and I'm going to filter the whole image with about two pixels okay and this gives me a little bit more of details in the image it helps to bring out the hairs and so on and the details on the on this uh, uh, yeah, shirt whatever um, yeah um, <coughs> then the last step for me is always to bring a little bit enough uh, yeah, a focus to the to the main uh, point of the, the image in this case the model and for this I'm creating all most of my images are creating a little bit of a vignette here and I'm going to duplicate these layers here merged again by Alt, Control, Shift and E and that I can play afterwards a little bit with the vignette I'm going to convert this to a small object and then I go to filters camera raw filter 
and to FX. And then I'm going to set a vignette here. Let's go with about, let's go with about that. And I preserve the highlights just a little bit. Maybe we can change the midpoint a little bit here and click OK. And there we are. Now we have this really cool looking image. We have brought this together just by uh, using a mask on the background. In this case, it's vice versa. The background is not the, not the background in the layers. It's, uh, it's used as foreground and partly masked out. And here's the before, as you can see. And this is the after. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.